Good afternoon, viewers. It's Rob Atfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. It's uh, September the 1st or 2nd, 2017. And I'm looking here at, uh, we're looking here, I should say, at my own boat, a 1963 Thompson Lapstrake runabout, powered by a four-cylinder Mercruiser engine. With mixed feelings, I've decided to sell the boat. I've pumped quite a lot of money and uh, restoration work into it. She has a new keel, completely new keel, uh, 13 new ribs and three new planks and so she's pretty seaworthy at this point. She's had seven or eight coats of varnish on her top sides and uh, about 12 or 13 on her transom. Boat's in good running condition at this point. Seems to be quite watertight. She does take about a week or so to soak up and then she tightens up pretty well. Uh, I've had, I had uh, some other enhancements done on the boat. She's got a new uh, uh, engine doghouse and uh, the original outdrive w didn't lift it wasn't uh, pneumatic or hydraulic so uh, we had I had that upgraded the uh, I wasn't too impressed with the swivel seats originally but I've grown to en enjoy them because they allow people sitting in the middle of the boat to either twist around and face the front and chat with the driver and front passenger or spin around and chat with those folks in the back the uh, I also added the ad additional uh, two back seats. Originally there were, well, there were none. And uh, I do like the fact that the windshield uh, on both sides opens up. Uh, you can see I've, this is the uh, lift mechanism I had for the outdrive installed. Comes with extras, uh, a ladder, and uh, we'll take you out in the water shortly. I'm sure there's lots more I've forgotten to tell you about the boat. The hatch opens at the front, horn works, lights work, and the spotlight uh, twists as it's supposed to after some restoration by a friend of mine. I'm also sailing with the boat uh, for those that are concerned about not having a uh, covered area for their wooden boat, and I must say I think most boats, most wooden boats certainly need that, or one heck of a darn good cover. I'm selling the uh, floating boathouse with her. She's a fairly lightweight. Five or six people can move her e fairly easily in and out of the water. I think she's about 240 pounds, including the floats. And uh, the fabric and the vinyl is quite durable. It's quite thick. It survived some pretty rough weather up here in Huntsville, and even a sort of a mini tornado that we had that flipped her up on its side and forced me to have a few of the frames refabricated. Anyway, we'll take you out in the water in a bit, and you can judge for yourself. We're on the river here, viewers, at about 1,000 RPM, maybe 1,100 max. She's a reasonably quiet boat. One thing I haven't done that I could, I could insulate the, uh, the doghouse. Uh, that would soften her down even more. But she's a fairly smooth running boat. And she's a great boat to entertain with, just because of the seating capacity. We're going to head out into Mary Lake, so we'll crank her up at that point so you can watch her at a higher speed. So here's what it feels like to be at the helm, viewers. I do find when we take the entire top down, it's a little bit quieter because there's no reverberation at all in the uh, cabin compartment at all. The Muskoka is a beautiful river, by the way, for any of you that might want to come up to the Huntsville area. We're located about six kilometers south of the river. Uh, we're in the process of beginning to think about downsizing, which is one of the main motivations for selling our Thompson. We're just at about uh, 15, 1600 RPM viewers. And uh, I will crank it up. We normally don't like to uh, we like to cruise at this speed, or even a bit slower. It's just a nice, gentle, quieter ride, but I will crank it up just so you can see that uh, the boat will plane. Bit of a chop on Mary Lake today.
Later in the afternoon now, viewers, and I wanted to show you the boat uh, without its top up. It does have a complete top. I must be honest, though, the, uh, the top is somewhat tired. It uh, covers the entire boat, but uh, the top has shrunk somewhat over the years, and I think, you know, it will work, but not all the buttons will pop because uh, of the shrinkage. Anyway, there you have a nice look at her with... Uh, without her top on. She's topless. <laughs> and I'll do a front view of the boathouse for you. Uh, the boathouse uh, obviously has this window in it, a plastic window, which is uh, dangling below. I, I cut it out. It can be reattached, but for ventilation, it can get pretty warm in there. I thought it would be better to uh, have more ventilation in the boat. The boathouse is about uh, 20 by 10 and it does have a sliding uh, vinyl doors of uh, the same material and as you can see it operates on a float system it has uh, I've forgotten how many uh, spherical floats on it 14 or 16 I believe but um, it serves the purpose ad adequately and admirably I would say you do have to remember to weight it down though you don't want it blowing away in the wind the trailer that goes with the boat is a 1963 Gator. It's had some significant work done on it in the last several years. I put a new set of tires on it maybe two, three years ago, and they've had very little use since, only to the dock and back and to our mechanics down the road a bit. So lots of wear yet on those tires. I had the uh, guide bars installed. It's a tilt trailer, uh, 1963 Gator, as I mentioned, uh, bunk trailer. And what else does it have? It's got this automatic uh, winch device on it, which uh, just operates from a 12-volt battery. It's quite simple to use. And uh, saves a bit of wear and tear on the owner if uh, you're a senior like me. <laughs> I've put a fresh coat of paint on it, and it had new, it's got new wiring as of about two months ago, and uh, new bearings at the same time. So this trailer is good to go.